So this is Lori with Peace, Love, and Therapy. Um, I just have had something on my mind the last few days, and I spoke to a group last night, and we discussed this, so I thought I'd just bring it to you um, and see what your thoughts are. Um, I have been making the connection um, in recent months about feminism and trans women. Um, I've had people in my own life, my own family, say to me, well, not all trans women look very feminine. And what I said to them <laughs> in my own snarky way was, well, you need to go sit on a bench in a public place and really look at what women look like. You know, women have high voices and low voices. Women dress up. Women dress in, you know, shorts and flip-flops. Women are big and small and tall. And women look in a, a variety of ways. Um, and I think part of that is, you know, if you look at things from the 50s, it looks like everyone was dressed up in, you know, poodle skirts or um, leave it to beaver dresses. Uh, I don't think that was really true, but it, at least more women felt compelled to dress in a certain way and wear the pearls and, you know, be feminine in a certain uh, sort of boxed in way. And I think what feminism has done for us in the last several decades um, of work and struggle um, as given women the right to be who they are, uh, have children or not have children, have the jobs we want, um, and even in our parents, dress the way we want, wear makeup or not, uh, be super girly, be, you know, androgynous, be whatever way uh, we need to be to feel comfortable. And then along come trans women. Um, and maybe it's because, you know, some of the most celebrated ones uh, do tend to wear, you know, shift dresses and heels and look look pretty feminine um, or attempt to look really um, girly because that's what they uh, prefer, right? Um, and we forget that trans women are women who have the right to look any way they want. Um, does it make you any less a trans woman if you wouldn't wear heels to save your life? Because I probably wouldn't at this age either. Uh, didn't even really like it when I was young, right? Um, Want to wear jeans and t-shirts instead of skirts. Um, doesn't make them any less a woman. In the same way that we understand cis women are not any less women depending on the way they dress. So I guess I just wish that we would give trans women the same feminist um, space that we give to other women. Um, I actually had a young trans woman in my office this week who said, you know, I'm a little worried about transition because I don't really like heels and I, I don't really want to wear skirts. And I said, great, you know, but I do want to be feminine. They said, and I said, great, you know, not wanting to wear heels, not wanting to be, um, what some people think of typically feminine doesn't make you any less a woman doesn't really even make you any less feminine. Um, so I just have been thinking that over. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, but um, I really want to, as society, move out of that place where uh, we have expectations that are not really based in being affirmative to everyone, to women, to transgender people, to trans women or trans men. Um, I think it would be serve uh, everyone well if we remember that we all have a right to be exactly who we are and to present exactly the way that we want to without feeling any shame or pressure, um, without being made to feel uncomfortable. Um, so tell me what you think about that. Um, see you later.